Hey, it's Justin Kinoy, a DJ, business coach, and idea sharer. And in this video, we're just taking a quick look at the integration of the CDJ 3000 with Virtual DJ. All right, I've lowered the lights down and put the top-down camera so you can exactly you can see exactly what's going on right here. Um, let's go ahead and fire up the CDJ 3000. Welcome screen comes up. And I'm only connecting the CDJ directly to my computer right now. It's not, I don't have a mixer or anything, and it's just a single, uh, single player. So you can see that it identifies that it is in a control mode. We can see that hopefully. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and fire up a virtual DJ right now. And you can see in virtual DJ, it's detecting that there's a new device. This is a very familiar dialog box. Anytime you uh, connect new hardware, I'm just going to hit OK because we are just going to use the computer for the audio right now. And when I hit Browse, we can now see all of the tracks. And I'm scrolling through one of the folders here. So you can see simultaneously, it's like just moving one by one. There's no lag. It's really cool. When I go back, we can now see my folder list. Click on Promo Only, Promo Only 2018. And let's go ahead and load a little song right here. And you just push that. And now you can see how quickly the song loaded up. And we're seeing the entire waveform up here. Or actually, we're seeing the entire waveform of the song right here on this bottom panel. And then the actual song position right here. Now this knob, which was being used to browse earlier, we can now use to magnify the waveform. So there it is right there. Now we're not able to do any kind of touch screen uh, functionality here. This is all going to be browsing. But in the track overview, I'm actually able to use my finger to scrub through the track. So that's really cool that you're able to, to kind of scroll through the track that way. And then as far as all the other functions, I mean, everything works really well. So I'm going to just set a cue point right here. You can see the song starts. Zoom in a bit. I'm in CDJ mode right now. Now in vinyl mode. Um, I'll move this just so you can see the album art also displays on the platter in the middle of the platter. We can do beat, uh, we can loop right here on screen. So I'm going to do an eight beat loop, one beat. We can also key shift right here. Reset it. So super simple. Also do beat jumps. This would just be a ton of fun to play with with a, a full setup. I don't know if I'm ever going to get that privilege, but it certainly has been pretty fun to just mess around with this single player. Well, that's a quick look at the integration between the CDJ 3000 and Virtual DJ. This is a beast of a setup. I don't know how many people actually have this because this thing's pretty expensive. So me included. Impressive nonetheless. For more virtual DJ tips, make sure you check out my virtual DJ 2021 playlist. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. I want to thank you again for watching. I'm DJ Justin Kanoya, and I'll see you next time online.